what gear do you use for that? I mean, is, are you a short skipping rod kind of guy or? No, I'm, I'm a pretty much, depending on where I'm at in the country, it's either a 7.3 or 7.6, 7.6 heavy, 7.3 medium heavy, just depends. I got you. Do you use a faster gear ratio over hill or slower gear or like just a um, range? It, it, well, it, if I'm swimming it, I'm a 7.3 to 1. If I'm just getting it in there and getting it out, it's 8 to 1. I got you. That, that new um, EXD uh, Revo that Abu Garcia made is made for long cast, but I've figured out that I can – do some damage skipping docks with it you know that's because that's become my favorite reel actually for that so what, technique what else do you like to do so you talked a little bit about the hair and that's one of the things you're more familiar with you talk about a big top water talk to us a little bit about what uh maybe do you have like two or three top waters what's your top water setup bait reel line everything that you really like to do the hair and deal with um sorry about that phone's going off all that uh geez the simplest way to do it is just with like a, a regular jerk shad or a um, fluke style bait. Take a actual screw, screw it through the nose of the fluke and stick the hook through the circle of the screw. So your bait's actually hanging off your hook, but it can't come off because you're through the screw. Um, tie like 12 inch leader to a swivel, swivel to your main line, preferably on a spinner rod, 20 pound braid, probably. 15 pound fluorocarbon so you can bomb it um you'd fish it that way you can fish with one bait through probably 10 15 fish where if you do the other way where you're rigging it through there you're going to tear them up as you go um that's a trick that's a trick that a lot of people don't know and it actually works really well in smallmouth too um the cane walker since it's come out um a lot of people throw it on braid i'm still more of a 20 pound mono guy uh, I just can't quite convert everything over to it yet. I like to just bomb that thing and make it make as much noise as it possibly can. And another top water that really works really well for the herring spawn, especially when they're up shallow, if they get around the docks like they do at Lake Norman, is a white popping frog. They don't see it a lot, and it's something that you can really, really do some damage with. And after that, on 50 pound, um, 50 pound X9 braid. Uh, seven three to one STX seven six heavy rod and just jerk them in the boat. But that's that's probably my three favorite things to do. That's pretty interesting. You don't hear a lot of people talking about throwing a frog around uh, the hair and deal. That's interesting. And like I said, not, they don't see a lot of it. So, what frog do you like to do? There's a lot of different hollow body baits now. Um, is there one in particular you like for that? Um, I probably had the best success with Boom Boom's frog. I guess. Um, I own hundreds of frogs like everybody and there's different frogs you know everybody has their this one walks better that one pops better or whatever i just had good luck with fred's frog and i just it's just kind of become my favorite i guess one of the things you mentioned too about the uh not being able to swap over to the braid and sticking with the mono is it is it a deal where you got a cadence down with that mono because it's obviously fish is totally different from braid as far as the stretch and all or do you feel like you lose less fish close to the boat or that's something you hear from a lot of guys why why is it you stick with it I think I, uh, I think I like to rip on them. <laughs> I think when I rip on them with the braid, I pull it through their mouth, rip their mouths open. To be honest, I think that's it. I think I just, I, I just like to rip on them. Yeah, I can see that because for for those of y'all who don't know, I mean, you know, mono's got a lot more stretch. Braid has a little stretch, very little. Fluorocarbon's got a little more, but obviously fluorocarbon doesn't float. So you got two options with the top water. You got braid and mono, and if you will, if you like to snatch, you definitely don't want to be doing the braid deal, even yeah. way out there because. It will either either you'll take it away from them or you'll snatch through them like Hank's talking about there. So, so with mono, you'll just go ahead and still lay the wood to them. Oh yeah, definitely, and just keep on cranking. Yeah. Like I like them, they bite that top water, especially the big ones. I like to get that mouth open and just ski them onto the boat if possible. I like it.